Silver and I work for a company called Ayon Abbott and Associates. We specialize in wastewater and water treatment. I would like to now show you how you can treat your underground water. Note that I mentioned underground water and not borehole or well point water because you can actually treat your well point and your borehole the same way. You can go from having this color and so much iron and when it needs to treat it to this and I want to show you how I've done it. This is my well point so now I've sent it to where I treat the water. So the hose runs through here, through this gutter up here, going all along the side here. And I've sent it up to the top of my windy house. So the water comes through this pipe over here and it goes to the top, as you can see, of this basket by means of one of these spraying units and here when the borehole water comes I've purposely made a hole and put this part through and I purposely put this to spray. The, the idea of having it on spray is so because iron is in a ferrous state, is in a 2 plus state and when it comes in contact with the air, it moves to the ferric state, the Fe3 uh, plus uh, state. And that is what packs on the walls and stains your walls brown. So in the 2 plus state, in the ferrous state, it stays in solution. But in the 3 plus state, when it comes in contact with the air, it comes out, it precipitates out. So the whole idea of putting this in a bucket on spray is I'm um, getting the borehole water or well or underground water to mix with the air and by mixing with the air I'm getting the iron to come out. I have now just removed it from the position that it was and I put it on top of my roof here and now I want to actually show you how the spray works on this. So I've got this food container that I drilled this hole to keep my spray in and inside here I had this container which I had the slits in to um, now fold it in with extra chlorine and I've just laid it inside here. I've made a hole at the bottom and I've placed it through my bin so that this container, this food container doesn't go right through but only about five to ten centimeters through. Then as you can see, inside this container I've got one of those pool chlorine floaters. And what I have done is, I have attached this pipe, this 40 uh, mole pipe that goes down to a T-piece and I've drilled these holes so that when you spray the water, the water then um, gets sprayed here and it goes down this pipe to the bottom of the spin and it comes up through these holes or the sides there and it gets chlorinated by this floater that I've got and when it's full it comes out here and then it goes out where it gets mixed with the rocks and I put these bricks with holes in that so that I can get proper mixing so that I know that the chlorine has got good contact time with my borehole water now, the well point or boil underground water is being mixed there, it's coming through here, it's being hooked here, yeah? and it goes directly to the bottom with this PVC pipe with a T piece I've split it up. So the water is rising up and when it reaches here, it goes out here. Now the water is going through here, through this pipe here and it's going down the side of my windy house now it comes from the Jojo tank and it's being it comes into this funnel here so again, I just want to show you how it's coming out how clear it's coming out but this is not the final product look at that so now I've sent the water down to the bottom of this Jojo tank and what I've done is I've got sand 
if you can see at the bottom I've also got a long PVC pipe that's running on our side with holes to send the water up so now the water is coming through here and when it reaches the top here it's going outlet through this PVC pipe here and I've got it to go near uh, my pole, I let it go here and what I've done here is I let it go through a 5 liter plastic container that I cut holes and I put gourds so the water is now flowing through here as an extra filter and there you can see the result of the water going into the pool so I use it to top up now I'm just going to briefly discuss the lot of results you can see that my water is is not as dark as my neighbor's water that's my neighbor's water on that side here's my water it had a thousand milligrams per liter then after the chlorine has been dosed it came to null there is no um, no um, iron and manganese was also no iron this is only a slight amount of chlorine in put in here but it's been left for 24 hours the color was 124 then it went down to 28 and 36 which is very acceptable by drinking water standard uh, the cost of all this actually cost 6,000 rand with all this PVC piping uh, tubings pool fittings uh, extra setting tank the pool sand all that then I realized that it was not actually necessary. Um, you don't have to go to the extreme. This came because I've been working for 31 years in the water industry and then you want to kind of build a water plant at your house. And then I realized that all you needed is this Jojo tank. I particularly like this size Jojo tank. And I like that it's got this lid, it's a recess lid and it comes with a wire mesh now all you had to do is get maybe a 5 litre uh, uh, used container get your spray uh, nozzle through here and attach it so that the water sprays inside here and adjust this above this and with this reset here you take cloth and you put um, some HTH on top you lay it on top of this cloth and you let the water spray through the HGH through this cloth which is got to this is that thing here then the water will drip down go all the way to the bottom and let it fill up to the outlet here when it's reached here you stop your pump and you also take how long it actually took to fill up on spray then you will find, then you leave it, the secret is to leave it for 24 hours, um, longer even better. Then you will find that the iron and the manganese will start to settle out and it will start to settle out to the bottom. Then you can fit the fitting into the step and connect it directly to your swimming pool. And then you can open the tap and you will have the clear water here going down and out into the swimming pool. It's a good idea to take this handle off the step here so that small children can't, um, can't come here and think that this is all new drinking water or something because remember this water is chlorinated water that is what takes out the iron and manganese so safety is a good precaution maybe even a sign to say non-potable water and all that you can now also easily control the amount of chlorine that goes to your pool. If you think it's too much chlorine, then you just reduce the amount of chlorine by taking some out from the cloth. I also would like to mention that the sediment at the bottom here, I've calculated. My neighbor that's got 2.2 milligrams per liter of iron divided by silver, that means it's 0.28 grams in one liter. That means in that Jojo tank, when he does this thing, he will produce 500 grams of iron in 2,000 liters. The pump was 
seconds per liter. The speed of the spray was 5 seconds per liter. I worked out that my pull size is 7 meters by 5.5 times point. I'm working on 3 centimeters. That is equal to 1 cubic meters, a 3 centimeters height. It will take 2 hours to top up my pool to a 3 centimeters height. Let me show you. From a distance from here to there, the Jojo tank that I showed you will fill up this in 2 hours. Here we are. Isn't this out of this world? I'm so proud of this water.